Hi, welcome to Coffee Talk Tuesday. It so happens that Coffee Talk Tuesday falls on the fourth day of Christmas. Pretty convenient, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, we today are going to talk about our top four Christmas carols to each. So, uh -huh. do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? You go. I, I love Christmas and I love Christmas carols. So, my very favorite one is actually one of the most hated of all times. Of course, it's All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. They say it's played too much, but really, like, all the Christmas songs, I think, are played at the exact same amount of repetitiveness over and over and over. But it's on the top of the charts for the most hated. But that's probably why it's my favorite, because, you know, I can't be part of the crowd. Right? So... And it's just one of the ones that I just very much love. Oh, good. <laughs> well, what about good. you? Good. Do uh, you like Christmas carols? You know, I some of them I do, some of them I do. Overall, uh, not. No, I'm not going to say that. That's sentimental and sappy. Um, <laughs> okay, well, you could be sentimental and sappy. Okay, this is actually uh, for like a few years there. I didn't really do Christmas. Um, lost family member around Christmas, and Christmas just wasn't, you know. So this is uh, really one of the first times I'm really celebrating in a while. And uh, so, <laughs> luckily you're with me, and I'm getting yeah. you to go, like, dive. <laughs> yeah, head first into Christmas. <laughs> so Christmas carols is not something that uh, I'd really given a lot of thought to over the years. But... Uh, there are some that I like just because I like them musically. Okay. And some of them are fun. Okay. Like, uh, even though I'm not huge into Christmas, uh, Sleigh Ride by the Ronettes. That'll get you, that'll get you up and moving. That's I good. love that one. Actually, my favorite version of Sleigh Ride is Aretha Franklin's. Mm. Because when I was young, I made my family laugh. Grandma, Mom, Dad, if you guys are watching... I know that this is like an all-time favorite Christmas is when I lip-synced to Slate Ride. And I did do the show for you. I, I showed you. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. You guys should look it up. It's a good one. <laughs> do you want to do your next one or do you want me to do? So that's two. Two songs. Well, I figure it would be like make sense to alternate. I know, and I have a story for everything. Okay, Especially so when it you comes want... To Christmas. It's fine, it's fine. It's your well, show. You tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> All right. So my second favorite song, again, it was one that I performed. I got all dressed up and silly and um, performed it for my family. But I actually sang it is Santa Baby. Madonna's oh, Santa Baby. To be very specific. And I was 16 years old and it was every single year for years and years and years and years. I have been singing that song on Christmas morning or Christmas Eve, depending on when I get together with my family, singing it, dressing up. I even have uh, some pictures of me very pregnant with Danny singing that song. <laughs> so is this, were these the years of Madonna when she had the cone bra? I, it was like I for Christmas, do you use elf hats? Or no, what's the... no, I have, I, it's not. Actually, you know what? I do have the jacket that I wear. Go get it. Go right. get it. She'll be right back. <laughs> it's not planned at all. No, actually it wasn't. It was I that's why I said we should do this. I should wear it because it was just right there. The hat I don't have. If I was planning it, I would wear the hat because the hat really makes it. You do know, you have the hat? Probably, well, you know what? I'm gonna put a picture of the hat on right. That's me. <laughs> so, but I would only wear the jacket as a dress. Woo woo. And I know I'm probably, probably can't see my whole body when I stand up, but it's fine. All right, so now, here's me with Santa Claus. My... Can you give us a little bit of Santa Baby? Santa Baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. I've been an awful good girl, Santa Baby. <laughs> Naughty, naughty, naughty. I got the naughty button ring. 
<laughs> All right, last one. Song number four. Oh. It's your turn. Uh, yeah. I'll... That's an instrumental. Carol of the Bells, just because it's pretty wicked and weird. For Christmas, like it's kind of dark. Like Mannheim Steamroller Carol of the Bells, or like... Which is my I mean, they're all kind of creepy. A little bit. They're like creepy Christmas. It doesn't matter which version. It's they're all creepy a little bit, <laughs> which is some fine. Some creepy, I, some say magical. That's, that's why fine. I like it. Okay, you can like. That's good. <laughs> There's also the Nightmare Before Christmas one. That's that's even more. Yeah, but like, that's not a Carol. That's a that's entire claymation production. Stop but there's a song in there that's... Well, there's plenty of songs in there. But they don't count <laughs> as Christmas carols. You don't go knock on someone's door and sing it at them. Maybe you do. Yeah. Really? You don't knock on someone's door and sing Santa Baby either. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess... It's You're joking! You're joking! I can't <laughs> believe my eyes! You're joking me! You gotta be! This can't be the right guy! Yeah, people would have me arrested. <laughs> Actually, unless you go to... Um, McKinley's house, who's one of my heart kids, who absolutely loves The Nightmare Before Christmas, she would probably flip her lid. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Right. Fourth day of Christmas. Fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Four Christmas carols. And a chance to talk about coffee, which we didn't do at all. We don't really, we don't always talk about coffee. Mm. How is your coffee? It's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. It's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow.